hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to resolve is the user account control guest button is either missing or grayed out on your windows 10 or windows 11 computer so it is not allowing you to confirm or deny a request in order to access your control prompt let's fix that issue guys for that go to search menu and type computer computer management just want to open it on left side go to local user and group go to local click on it double click on it and you just want to select the user account you are using now double click on it and go to member of tab over here click on it and member of tab you need to check whether the administrators are here if that is not already in here you just want to click on add and just want to click advanced tab over here advanced and click find now you just want to select the administrators and click OK click OK check names and check names and click OK administrators is already in the list if your computer not having administrator in this list you just want to add it that's why I'm do it that for you guys click OK and close out of here and if you not get resolved guys you just want to go to search menu and type user account user account control settings open it just want to turn it down guys turn it down and click ok click yes now if you not get resolved by this also Go to start menu and go to start but power button and click restart by pressing holding the shift key on your keyboard shift plus restart at the same time click on it and pressing shift key in keyboard same time in here you just want to in choose an option in here you just want to select the troubleshoot option over here and click on advanced option over here and click here guys command prompt use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting click on it and in here you just want to type sfc sfc space slash S C A N N O W S F C space slash S C A N N O W press enter. Wait for the system scan, guys. This verification will be done in few minutes.
after finishing verification 100% snitch we just want to some file repair changes will take effect after the next reboots close out of here and click continue guys hopefully your problem has been resolved guys that's it for today's video i hope this tutorial definitely helpful guys give me a like and subscribe thank you